Welcome back to Disney Infinity 2.0, and we're going to do gameplay for Captain America. The reason this is coming out really late is because I was really tired and had a busy day, and I didn't level up Cap as fast as I wanted to level up Cap. But yeah, Disney Infinity 2.0, Captain America. I'm doing this really early, as you clearly tell. I'm a lot more hyped. Wait! It's probably a good thing you don't need me during the days. But... Anywho, um, we're gonna check out the trailer for Captain America. So, you know, when, I was wondering where he was, when, Cap, so the super soldier serum gives Steven Rogers increased strength and agility. Now, Captain Steven Rogers, I salute thee. I salute thee. You have shown us something we have not seen since the Dark Knight. That the sequels are good. Are better than the originals. Yes, I see him with the soldier, and I knew Bucky was the Winter Soldier, and I knew this movie was going to be okay, decent. Captain America, too, and like, I was in Cena, I'm like, this was excellent. But those who don't know about Captain America, the Winter Soldier, it's time for you to leave because I'm going to spoil everything about it. Um, Toy Box saves, um, my battle zone. Um, Captain America 2 takes place after the Avengers Shield. Captain America is part of Shield. And so he like joins Shield and then he's part of Romanoff's partners with Romanoff. And um so um Nick Fury gets assassinated, you get the whole gist, and they try to figure out who did it. And then it turns out Hydra's back! Um and then Bucky Barnes is up in shoulder and Shield crashes and burns. Uh Crashes and burns. Um, this movie in the Falcon was in, it, so I really like this movie. Um, now I'll talk about the future with Captain America. Look, well, anything you're probably here is because of the Civil War thing and the thumble thumbnail. I'm actually gonna talk about Agent Carter first. Agent Carter is my most anticipated TV show for next year because I like prequel shows. Prequel shows are decent. Yes, and I have Bucky with you. Um, the other point still stands. Um, Tech Agent Carter is my most anticipated show. It's going to be awesome because prequels are usually good. Prequels. I love prequel shows. So. I know you're like, hey, what about Gotham? Isn't that a prequel show? It doesn't really have a prequel. It's trying to follow up to it. Um, and a lot of continuity problems, uh, she came with Let's Play. Now we know one's Gotham. There's problems with Gotham. Um, the point still stands. Um, hold on a second. Oh, I'm not gonna compare Gotham, but I'm talking about Agent Card. Um, Jarvis is going to be an Agent Carter, and I think Agent Carter is going to be hot. Um, if we're going to find out who her husband was. I hope, I hope. I almost, I bet the writers are doing it. Bucky is going to be in it. It's, it's kind of given. Bucky is going to be in it, but... Um, people are thinking, hey, hey, how about Namor? I would like Namor. In, but Namor is one of the few characters I don't like. I would like the original fan. I can't speak to the original Human Torch. Uh, those who don't know, the original Human Torch was an android, and he was my favorite incarnation of the character. Um, I just like the idea of an android because android characters are actually quite good. I like androids can be a cop out sometimes, but um, it would be nice to celebrate Marvel 75th year. Um, this year was amazing for Marvel. Best year for Marvel. Ah, I'm in shield position. Jump in. Um, Captain America has the least favorite foes. I will give him this. When I first heard the Winter Soldier movie, I'm like, yay, what's the plot? Um, but we're actually going to talk about Captain America 3. Civil War. Now this could be the most 
They were like, yes, Civil War, Civil War, we're so excited for it. I don't really give a who and a half. Because if you ask me, the Winter Soldier, the, the Civil War is an Avenger storyline. I would have liked to have got Avengers 3, and I would be okay with that, because so, cause then Infinity Wars could be number 4, and that could work pretty well. I don't... Civil War is an okay storyline. I know that people are like, hey, we're going to connect you with Spider-Man. Because Spider-Man plays a pivotal part. And I'm like, oi, bye. Uh, Civil War took place, um... It, well, I think in the MCU they're going to take a place after Ultron. And they're going to be like, oh, uh, people are going to have to have these powers to defend ourselves because we've seen the threat that Ultron and the event possibly have. And there was a scene, I saw the event on Inside the Magic, um, where they show Cap and Iron Man pretty much saying, pretty much just having problems. And I like character teammates. I like movies when teams actually have problems. It's, in the first Avengers movie, they looked way too heroic. They looked way too, there was no problem. That's why I loved Big Hero 6. They actually had problems. They didn't work well together because they didn't learn how to function as a team. Avenger, it just seemed like it happened so fast, it really didn't really happen. Sure, the characters had their differences, but Big Hero 6, they showed it the best way in Marvel movie. Um, so they Guardians of the Galaxy, they showed these characters had their own selfish endeavors. But... Um, one thing I really do like about, um, so War is that we might get an Iron Spider in the movie, and I like the Iron Spider. Of course, I wish it was on a day's show, but he's already appeared in the MCU. And one thing, Marvel, since you're correcting all your mistakes now, please put the leader in a movie. I want to see the leader in a movie, and the leader is a character you shouldn't have written out. You're like, oh, the leader, we're going to make him a whole movie thing. Um, uh, Planet Hulk's... Not confirmed, guys. You're like, this is a car? But Hulk, um. Sorry again to burst your bubbles, but. I don't. And Better Ray Bill. I want there to be Better Ray Bill. Better Ray Bill should be Narns, too. Um, there's so many characters I want them to add, but, um. So more will be the first appearance of Black Panther in the MCU. And it's already been confirmed who the actor is, and I'm to myself so we cast a black panther but we we can't say who the villain's gonna be in thor ragnarok ragnarok or we, we can't announce any we can't announce any ant-man things so ant-man would be a lot more appealing right now because i want to know more about ant-man um i don't have time right now to learn about black panther now um i know who black panther is the prince of wakanda but i'd rather watch ant-man it go down. Um, yeah, I like Ant Man. Ant Man's a good character. Uh, Scott Lang. Hope they do him well. But uh, um, I can have concerns. The Yellow Jacket costume was leaked, and I somewhat dislike it. Um, Hope Van Dyke. Um, I think is going to be lost. Um, the area say she's going to be a shield agent. I really didn't like that about how all these famous characters. We're becoming shield agents. Black Widow would make sense because she was actually Natalie Rushman was actually a spy. Um, Clint Barton, I don't think was a spy. He was he was actually. Now that we're getting Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch, we're gonna have all the original Avengers, and I'm gonna love that. Um, you don't know what I mean by the original Avengers. The first Avengers team was not Iron Man, Hulk, but um, it was just Captain America. Hawkeye, Hawkeye, Quicksilver, and and Cap, and then we had more characters. I think Beast, Beast, I believe, was the fifth Avenger, but I really can't remember. Um, let's get to Captain America lore. Uh, he was the first character to uh, capitalize the American spirit. Whenever he was angry on the cover, America was angry, and. Um, I just copied all of this from the Marvel 75th years from Pulp the Pop. I really did. You can quote me on that. Um, 
I really like how Capcom in this first issue they they I like how they said it was very controversial because this was a man which are alive, but um Captain America, where do I stand on him? As my favorite Marvel character, he is the best acted. The character has acting spirit. Um I feel the same way about Tom Hilson. He has the best act Tom Hilson is the best acted villain. Um Come on, Bucky. Um, Sebastian Stan does a great job as Bucky. Come on, there's Bucky. Oh, Bucky. I'm gonna go cover the line over there. If you don't mind, Bucky, you can just take care of the litter over here. Um, the Winter Soldier is my mind. People are gonna complain to. Oh. We're having. That he's just around top out. I agree with that. Some regards, but um, hey Bucky, hey Bucky, Bucky, I'm gonna punch you. Oh, yeah, Bucky, 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 are you gone? I feel really hyper today. It's probably because it's really early for me to be filming this. But, um, quite a fight, my friend. Where's Bucky? Uh, I'm really hyper today, and um, it's probably because I drink my daily routine. Will actually know this. I actually do not eat breakfast. I actually don't eat lunch in my daily routine. I only eat snacks and tons of milk when I get home. And then I'm really tired in the night because I spend most of my time just watching Ages of Shield or playing Spectrums. Oh yeah, one thing I'd like to talk about. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, this is actually a channel update. Um. Hobbit will come back on. I decided since I have a lot of gap in Disney Infinity, um, I'm gonna take a break from Disney Infinity after doing all these characters' gameplay, and then, um, I'm gonna do some Hobbit free playing, because, uh, the, the, um, the last movie comes out, and I really want to do, like, some why things gonna happen and everything, but I'm gonna wait till this gets, like, 13 minutes, so. Um, Chris Evans. It was the failed Human Torch. I know people are gonna say, "This um, I'm gonna try something." It's gonna be ridiculous. Uh, Big Bang Theory news. Uh, I guess um, sad news. Um, this episode is actually gonna be dedicated to someone who actually works on the Big Bang Theory. Um, Mrs. Wallowitz. She actually passed away. So how? Can you request? No, I can't do it. Um, Howard, the little Jewish girl, Tom Holland, the little Catholic girl, young man. Oh, I'm saved by the bell. Uh, I do not want to offend any Jew is in the purpose of this, but Mrs. Wallowitz was the best actress on the show, as comedic, and next thing you know, Edna Krakow dies. But, hey, Cap, throw that at us. No. I said, throw it at us. No, go do a terrible job, man. Now I shall pass the camera. No. Oh, anywho, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you like Cat. Next time, we're going to cover Hawkeye. And then Black Widow. And then we're going to end things off with Iron Man for the Avengers characters. Until then, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Till then, live long and prosper, guys. Live long and prosper.